My name is Derek Gage. I'm a prison officer based at HMP Blunderson. I work in the Offender Management Unit, dealing with prolific offenders, high risk and uh, lifers. Well, I do basically do a lot of sentence plans, working with probation and police. And then I'll get, get, gather all the information, and then we do like his life story while he's in prison. Um, also dealing with his, when he gets released, licence conditions. I'm from a big council estate myself, so I know what a lot of these lads have been going through, so I can relate to certain issues with them. Because we also deal with um, parole review boards, where we sit on the parole review boards in front of the judges, and we've got to be answerable to them. So everything we do has got to be fact. My dad was a tax collector. My mum, she worked in a, in a factory doing soldering irons. But no, they're passed on now, both of them, but they, no, they, they had, you know, a big family to bring up. My dad was a musician as well, had his own band in the West Country, so we were out in the bank, being used as roadies, you know. My school days, cool. <laughs> did I turn up? But yeah, basically, yeah, no, they were, they were good times. Started off like primary, then went on to comprehensive, Tavistock comprehensive. We had a good, um, good field of uh, lessons to, to attend, you know, rugby, we enjoyed me rugby, football. You know, I left, I left 16, a few qualifications. I could have done a lot better, like most. I think I would have aimed for a few more qualifications, um, especially in this day and age, you know, it's, like I say, um, I might have even st tried settling in down Devon because initially I was going to join the Navy but uh, the, the enlistment date was too long so I joined the Air Force instead. I was in the catering section, um, well cooking for, well when we went to strike command in High Wickham it was up to two, three foes in a day, three days a week, you know three times a week. But the wife didn't like it so we decided to, um, what, with a young family, she didn't want all the moving around so we decided to, that I would come out. And then once I, I left the Air Force, so I, I lived in High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire where I worked for a Southern Electricity Board for a few years. You know, I was cable laying, overhead linesman, live line tree cutting. So I've always sort of been dealing with people. When I thought I'd join the prison service, I thought it was going to be like, um, like the armed forces. Um, a, it's not just a uniform, but I, I prefer that environment because uh, I don't really like Civvy Street. As I still call it Civvy Street. Um, I don't think you're treated right, personally, but at least in a uniform, you, you know what you're doing. You've got guidelines, and the people around you want to be doing the same work. Well, when I started back in 87, I was actually at High Point Prison. Um, I used to commute from Lowestoft on a daily basis. That was when we used to do the good 12-hour shifts, five days a week. Um, I started out on a wing on the landings. Then basically I've worked in as an education officer, censoring, fence patrols, basically everything. And initially, I've got to be honest, it was for the security and financial gain. Well, you, you can start from the bottom and make your way to the top. A few of my colleagues are actually governors who I trained. I think they picked my brain first, but there you go. Um, but, the, the, you know, if the people want it, it's there for them.